Welcome to Dominique Up. Everyone is having an amazing day. I am in Lowe's right now and we are getting some artificial grass for the back patio. The size of the concrete is 10 by 12 so he's getting ready to cut it off now. And um, I want to go to Ikea. We'll probably go to Ikea in this vlog. I'm going to go get some picture frames to put in the lift and um, probably like a lot of home projects and just doing little stuff to the house. So stay tuned for it girl. Girl, we have some patio furniture, so I'm getting ready to put this together. Y'all saw I put down the artificial grass, and I was just super excited to get some furniture out there because I love being outside, reading, and the fact that I have a couch now, baby. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff together and show you guys what it looks like. So let's get into it. Chair number one is put together. The process of putting this together wasn't too bad. The um, instructions are straightforward, basically. I will say it's a lot of screws. I probably screwed in at least like 24 screws in this one chair. So yeah, be ready to be screwing. What's up y'all? So it's a few days later. I've been loving having a patio set in the backyard. Like I come out here in the mornings y'all. I do my reading out here and I absolutely love it. The set is comfortable. It's from Cosway and I have a code 10% off where you can save some money. So putting it together was easy. I did it myself so it wasn't tedious at all. And I love it. I love how it came out. Love everything about it. Love the color. I was looking for like an extra pillow to go on this couch. You guys will see later in the vlog. But um, I decided not to even get an extra pillow right now. Maybe I'll get some a little later. This is the one seater chair. I fit comfortably in it. I have room on the side. Yeah, it's a lot of space. Over here on the two seater, I can just chill, put my feet up watch the girls play that's one of my favorite things just coming out here just laying down and just watching them play game changer so i love this and then i got my little table right here i want to get another plant y'all we're trying to bring this back to life but i think she gone love the table When we got the artificial grass, he was like, oh, I'm just going to give you guys a little extra because I told him 10 by 12. Look, the grass is dead right here. Dang, we might have should have just went ahead and cut this um, when we got it. But I put it down and we was like, that'll probably be good for the girls like running back and forth so they won't like stomp their foot or anything. But I wish we just would have went ahead and cut it off oh no i think because it's bugging me just like that overlap is bugging me with the artificial grass i think i'm gonna cut it to match the um the end of the patio like the concrete and we're just gonna have to get like some seeds so that grass will go back grow back right there because yeah i just think that look weird i don't know let me know down below Am I thinking about it too much? Is it fine? What would y'all do? Would you cut it off? I feel like we should just cut it off. I don't know. He should have just did it 10 by 12 like we asked. I mean, it was a nice gesture to, you know, give us a little bit more. However, we don't 
we really didn't need it but um i'm gonna let y'all see what it looked like again so you see yeah i don't like that like that looks tacky to go on the patio set outside you know it's like white right now I like these they're on clearance as well the strawberries are nice definitely giving summer vibes these are nice really really nice and this is a set of two you like the strawberries I figured you was gonna like the strawberry. I got you talking about these ones. Uh, why you don't like that one? Because I don't really like You like the colors better on this one? Outside? In the, in the front door? No, in that back. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. We need something like that for the front porch. I need to get another rug for the front door because I still got a fall rug in there. I do not want these anymore. You don't want those? I can't. So we have decided on the black and white, but, thought, but now we saw this section and these pillows are so cute. Let's get these, come on. Those? Yes. I like these. Mommy, those are so weird. These are nice. No, they're not. These. Girl. Okay, do it again. But we gotta think about Daddy. Is that too girly back then? Where? It's gonna be real girly if we get pink. This one is not that pink. It has orange, it has green. You did what? changed our mind and we picked these pillows up so. I haven't yet to get any curtains for our bedroom for me and Sean's bedroom and I think black will go nice in there just because that's like one of our accent colors I really 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 like this mirror right here it's a long rect rectangular mirror with the square um trimming so I like that mirror so I had got a mirror for the living room from TikTok shop but I feel like it's too small for the living room so what I was going to do is put that one in my bedroom and I need like a bigger one for the living room. And this would be perfect, but I wish it had like the um, stand like this in the back. But I think I will have to mount this to the wall. What's up y'all? Just got home from CVS and I picked up my poster pictures to go in the frames that I got from Ikea. I'm just so thirsty to look at them, like look at the pictures printed out. But here are the frames that I got from Ikea. I've been eyeing these ever since we moved here. And I've just never, you know, I just never took the initiative to go ahead and get them. But the style is real down. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this frame size is 30, 24 by 36. And got three of them because I'm gonna put them on the wall right there. I'm so ready to get like some things on the wall and for everything to just stop looking so bare, especially downstairs. I'm just like, oh, we need some stuff on the wall. I want to get some curtains. Um, so first, we're going to start with these pictures. And I don't know if I'm going to put them, go ahead and put them in there or if I want to wait on Sean. I'm the type of person like I want to go ahead and get it done. And I don't mind doing stuff like this. I don't mind, you know putting up the frames let's look at the pictures hopefully they came out good the guy who was never mind <laughs> uh, yeah. so i got the pictures printed out this one right here is honey i would have took that all right. all right so here's the one of me and sean 
And then he gave me an extra one because it had like this little creasing in it, baby. He could have just gave me that and I would have been fine with it. Okay, take it, take it off of my order. But I don't mind the crease. <laughs> so that's the one we did, Sean. And then I printed out one of all of us and then one with just the girls. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at my babies. My tunka dunkas. So I got that. And then this one right here of all of us. I'm so thirsty to see what they look like in the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and open one up. Let me see. Let me find me some utensils. Let me open some windows so we can get some more light in here. Alexa. Play Million Dollar Baby. Here's Million Dollar Baby by Tommy Richmond. Cause I wanna make it. Plan is for the pictures to go on this wall right here. This is one of the pictures in the frame already and it looks amazing. Absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other pictures in the frame now. So with these frames, you have the option of leaving this white border around it and like putting your picture in the middle or you can do the full frame. I feel like the full frame just looks better. Like the full picture without the border looks better to me. And I also have these frames right here that I was thinking about putting somewhere in like the dining area. So, I don't know. I got to find some pictures that I want to put in them. So, still thinking about that. Maybe like some of the girls' baby pictures or something. I'm, I'm not sure. So I've hung both of them, but as you can see, this one right here is lower. This is the first one that I did, and it's lower. This one is a little cricket. Honestly, I'm not like the most perfectionist. Like, you know, if it's slightly off, I can deal with it, but that's a big difference. So I might have to take this one down and readjust it. But these two look good. Now I know the measurements. I kind of like. Estimate I measured from the top up there from the ceiling to the um, picture and I knew that I went four inches down to do the first holes for that one so when I did that one I was like okay it's gonna be 17 inches because I just measured from the top and then I just added four but I guess I was a little off therefore I'm going to take that one off and do the same thing that I did with the other two and we're gonna be done but it looks so good I hate that I waited so long to do this and now I'm thinking should I get some of the like uh, lights to go over top? Like right over top of the pictures? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's take this one off and we are going to readjust it. Yeah, I was an inch off. <laughs> y'all <I> did it. <laughs> I mean, we did it. The pictures look so good. Your girl did an amazing job with hanging these. 